Welcome to this video on using timed content in your WordPress blog. This is a Hubskills.com blog post. Watch this image on this page. Let me now refresh the page and see what happens. Do you see the image? You don't. But wait, here the image is coming, zooming in from left and positioning in the middle. This is possible with the WordPress plugin Timed Content. It is not a popular plugin, don't know why, but people who have used it like it as you can see in 5 star ratings. Ok, to begin you have to install the plugin in your WordPress blog. You might already know how to do this, but let me explain the steps briefly. Look at this image. From your blog dashboard on the left, click on Plugins and then choose Add New. You come to the Install Plugins page. In the second step, search for the plugin Timed Content. WordPress comes up with a list of probable plugins. Timed Content comes at the top. The third and the fourth steps are to simply install the plugin and then activate it. The plugin is now ready for use. Let me now take you to a landing page in this blog. Here is a video that markets my product and below this I have call to actions and a sign up button. The call to actions are not there from beginning. They come after 10 seconds. This means when a visitor comes to this page, he cannot see them. At that stage, he will most likely click on the video to watch it. Let me refresh the page by pressing the function key F5 and see how it works. As you see, the call to actions are not there. Let me click on the video. Now you see after 10 seconds, the call to actions have appeared below the video. Here is how this is done. The timed content plugin is already active. On this page I use this pair of short code. It wraps the call to actions inside it. In this show parameters the first figure is for the delayed appearance in minutes. The second is the delayed appearance in seconds. I have 10 seconds here. And the last figure is for the fade in appearance in milliseconds. There are many ways to use the timed content plugin. You can use it to show or hide content on specific calendar days and at specific times. The plugin author has given the code examples of the various ways to use the plugin. You can use server side shortcode so that your hidden content is not exposed in HTML source. You may even set your own rules for repeated showing or hiding contents for as long as you want or for a fixed number of times. This can be done from your blog dashboard after going to timed content rule pages and then add new timed content rule. There are quite a few options here to select those that work for you. Finally, here is artist timed content, a nearly similar WordPress plugin which you may want to give a try. This video lesson ends here. Thanks for watching.